interview questions and answers which bring uh, good learning sessions as part of our notifications related to the client libraries have uh, topics um so is your bundles uh this is msm and dispatcher which i'll take uh, some templates and client libraries okay. template tutorial in our uh, concept which we are covering is already where the client and what is dependencies and what is embed okay, information on the aem Welcome to ITB. So, as part of the interview questions and answers series, uh, in this video, I would like to cover editable templates and uh, client libraries. Um, also, few of the questions which are asked as part of uh, previous uh, uh, interview questions and answers, which I have posted on uh, OSJ as well. I'll be taking care of uh, that as well. Okay. Hope you are uh, having a good learning sessions as part of this series. And then uh, any questions you have, you can always ask me in the comments. I'll uh, be happy to reply and uh, make sure you understand the topics. Okay, let's go to the first uh, video, uh, like OSJ interview questions and answers part one. So a few of the questions uh, which I've got uh, asked was like, uh, can you create a WhatsApp group so that we can guess? Yes, I have created a WhatsApp uh, group uh, for all the ITV audience who are actually working on the Adobe Experience Manager so that you all will have uh, uh, different topics discussed and a single point of forum where you can actually approach anyone who is already working on the issues or you can post the issues there and then uh, someone will provide the solution if they have already worked on or notifications related to the next video that would be coming in ITV. All of that will be shared in um, this WhatsApp chat uh, invitation. You can go ahead and then, uh, and then that was the um, one thing. And the second thing which was asked is, can you explain uh, MSM? MSM is multi-site management and dispatcher. Yes, I will definitely explain multi-site management and dispatcher, but uh, they are, uh, I would say, little um, um, experience uh, 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 developer topics. So not a novice developer topics, someone who has already got knowledge on uh, component development, template development, uh, content fragments, experience fragments, all of that. If they have already had that knowledge, then they go to the next level of multi-site management, like creating uh, websites for multiple countries and multiple languages, and also dispatcher, which we can use for uh, caching and load balancing. So these details will be mentioned as part of uh, MSM and dispatcher. Definitely, I'll cover a video on MSM independently and dispatcher independently. Two videos I'll be having. And then um, one more question which was asked is uh, if client libraries have the same name, which client library will render in AM? Suppose uh, in AM, you can have multiple components, right? Uh, in multiple components, uh, you can have uh, different client libraries and uh, each client library you have given same name. So which client library will load? So it is based on the service ranking again. I can show you uh, how the service ranking can be useful in the client libraries having the same name. Uh, two components having the uh, same category of client libraries in AM and uh, which will load on the page. So when you have two components having same categories uh, uh, which are actually trying to load um yeah see if the client libraries are defined at the component level they will be loaded when the components are only present okay if both components are on the same page the client libraries will be included twice okay both of them will be loaded twice so which is a performance issue so and um, it is Suppose, I, ideally, if you are actually having same client library category, what you are trying to do, you are trying to say that having the same client library being used in another component also. If it is being used in another component, why don't you just include that component category as a dependency or embed in the second component rather than actually creating the entire uh, client library with the same category's name. So it's a duplicate uh, client library which you are creating. So. Uh, if they are having same categories, they will be loaded both and twice. And also, if there is any service ranking, that will be prepared. I will show that. Uh, 
so if they have a service ranking for the same client libraries so they can actually have a, um um so yeah there is this is the property in the corresponding oig configuration which you can provide for the client library service ranking so you can say client like client manager filter uh, client debug um, and service ranking so these are the properties which you can give in sling oig config based on the service ranking um, that will be loaded first but normally this much complex uh, service ranking we won't give but if you give the same name of the categories it's always better to have avoided uh, and then use dependencies embed to load them because if they are uh, loaded twice which means that you are not implementing your components properly which is a performance issue your code will not be approved for the code merge with develop branch so you'll have to they'll reject the merge request so that's another thing which we will be doing as part of client library so that you can answer in the client library thing and um, these are the questions so let's go to part 2 question if we have any other uh, comments okay in part 2 again there is a can you explain dispatcher as i mentioned in the previous uh, um uh, few seconds uh, we'll have a separate session on the dispatcher definitely okay and then let's take uh, oig service part 1 we go to the playlist you have a part 1 part 2 and uh, part 1 is also there i think uh, it is missed we should to questions and answers i ask uh, part 1 oh see interview questions and answers if you search with it okay this is the part 1 okay so in the part 1 i have explained clearly about uh, uh, topics um so i think yeah they are just thanking uh, for the video so i think uh, the only thing which i have uh, observed from the comments is uh, one um when you have uh, two client libraries with same categories what will happen which i have explained and 